it off. All right. So uh, first topic of the day, quick hit. Yeah, what do we got? Warriors up 3-0. Uh, I guess I would have to just, you know, I just want your thoughts uh, after, you know, we had the a night of sleep and we digested it. And, you know, how are you feeling? Uh, you know, what what most impressed you about, you know, honestly, the Warriors throughout this whole series? And, uh, yeah, the floor is yours. I mean, the Warriors are deeper. The Warriors are better. And, um, you know, I went through it. And if you look at the Warriors, you have guys who start – and then you have starters. So, like, for example, um, Jonathan Kuminga does not start, but he's a starter. And Moses Moody doesn't start, but he's a starter. Um, and Jordan Poole doesn't start, but he's a starter. You know what I'm saying? They're starter caliber players. And then you have other teams where they have guys who do start that really are not starters. And that's Dallas. I look at Dallas and I say, you've got Luka Doncic and you have Spencer Dinwiddie and maybe, maybe Jalen Brunson are the, are starters. Everybody else on that entire team are bench players. The Warriors, by contrast, have, I would say, seven to nine starting caliber players. Some of them are coming off the bench. Otto Porter is a starter. He was a, he was a great player at Georgetown. Um, you know, the Warriors have a number of guys. They're really, they're really only the bench guys are Bielitsa and JTA and Damian Lee. Everybody else for the Warriors is a starter. Some of them are starting. Some of them aren't. But to me, it, the Warriors are a much more talented team. Um, I thought Warriors in five, and I thought it would go Warriors win games one, two, and three, lose game four, and win game five. And I'll hold to that. I, I, you know, I think Golden State will wind up losing this next game. I think Dallas will put a big, big, uh, you know, run on them early, and Golden State will pack it in for Game Five, and then they'll go back and finish it in Game Five. I really believe that's the way it's going down. Golden State is, you know, a good. That right now they're rebounding as a team really, really well. Their guards rebound. Everybody's going to the glass. And now Wiggins, you know, Wiggins is in his prime. And Otto Porter's in his prime. And they added Bielitsa, and he's in his prime. And they've added guys in the prime of their career to their already awesome cast. And they're just better than Dallas. And I think they'll be better than uh, than whoever comes out of the East as well. So, um you know, I wasn't sure what to expect from the Warriors because it was such a lackluster second half of the season. And I thought there was a chance that Denver would oust them in the first round. But after they kind of sh- proved their mettle and showed that they could get to a different level, um, then, you know, I like them to beat Memphis. And and that was a tougher series than I thought it would be. I really like them to beat Dallas. And I think the finals will be a bigger challenge than Dallas. But overall, Warriors have like seven or eight or nine starting caliber players on their roster, and the Mavericks have two. 